Uh, Break is a, a small Norfolk children's charity, and our, obviously our marketing resource is very small, and so is our team. Um, so here are just a few things that we've learned along the way. Um, you, you have to get lots of people involved in terms of motivating them to carry them out. And at the same time, you have to, be, you have to balance your resource um, as well as time. So having a good plan is essential. So from the start of a small idea or a big event, we focus on creating a robust project plan, looking at feasibility, income and expenditure. But most part of any, any project is having the right people. And people want to be part of what you're doing. So whether it's working with corporates, individuals, um, supporters or volunteers, the key, the key is to empower these people um, and maximise your event or idea. I'm going to move to slide two. Quick. Okay, so we aim to put on a good event and we want people to have a good experience. I think that's our key. And because we want to encourage people to work with us, but people won't support your event if you don't tell them about it. So obviously we have a good um, Twitter and Facebook campaign, and obviously if you're on Twitter or Facebook and you follow the GoGo Dragons, you'll probably see that. Um, but we also use the old-fashioned tools, obviously in terms of posters and mail outs. Um, we also look um, to get as many people as possible and give them as many opportunities to get involved. The simplest ideas are normally the biggest win winners, and in terms of income, for example, our duck race, you might think to yourself, well, how do you make money on a plastic duck? And that's where we started. Um, the simplest ideas sometimes reap the biggest amounts. So, for example, the, the, the duck race, we charge corporates £100 to get involved. They use those ducks as a mascot for their company. So it's a bit of a win-win. They have Twitter accounts, they have Facebook accounts. And just on one duck race alone, um, we raised £14,000. So... We now, use, we now use that idea as simple building blocks for our events, leading on to bigger things like Go Go Gorillas. And, and it's probably the small events and small charities like Break, we shouldn't really be taking them on. But sound business plan and um, simple building blocks, we learned from these smaller events and we gave Norwich the biggest summer in 2013 with Gorillas. And obviously, with the success of that, we've now introduced Go Go Dragons. Um, and there are many building blocks to make Go Go Dragons I want to focus on the sponsors because without any of this, we wouldn't be able to do it. So as with our duck race, we encourage our sponsors to create Facebook and Twitter accounts and also Dragon accounts to be mascots for their companies. Also to engage each other and engage their supporters. And this encourages um, people to come on the trail and then people to spend in the city. So interaction is simple and this obviously stimulates me and my team members, but it also introduces you to new businesses, new contacts. I'm a little bit go a little bit longer okay. and we also when we also have um, we also work hard and stretch our resources and many of our businesses such as small hairdressers can get involved as well as multinational corporates the point is that we don't want it to be um, exclusive to one person we want it to be inclusive to everybody and create a community of supporters and new ideas so planning and supporter engagement is a key to success and, to, and this enables break as a forward-thinking creative charity and without them um, we wouldn't be there so thank you